only prerequisite in reality and certainly on Housewives, it's, there's nothing scripted about it. When things get out of control, you know, it really isn't orchestrated. I think the scene with Taylor last year, you know, when she totally lost her mind. I wasn't there, but wow, when I saw that back, I thought, how do you ever capture this? I mean, we've been through so much together, so things like that have been hard to watch. I've managed to not be involved in too many of the altercations, maybe more by luck than judgment. But the reunion last year, I was really blindsided. I felt, you know, devastated after. And that was, yeah, a big moment for me that I didn't expect. That made me question my sanity as to whether I should, you know, keep going with this or not. show guilty pleasures well I have to say I'm pretty loyal to Bravo I love Jenny Poulos and Jeff Lewis on flipping out I just love their dynamic I've been a judge on Top Chef I just think that's always fascinating Jiggy was a judge on Top Chef as well I worship the ground that this dog never walks on he was the first dog to hit the dance floor on Dance with the Stars how cool is that seeing Andy Cohen dressed as Jiggy hosting his show for Halloween I thought, has he lost his mind? <laughs> and I just thought that was the funniest thing because I think when people are actually dressing up as you on Halloween, you can really say that you've made it. And I think, Jiggy, you've made it. And he's signed by CAA. So even though I don't have people, Jiggy does. <laughs>